Hi, welcome to this channel. And today's discussion, we'll be looking at um, trading with the Fibonacci retracement tool. Now, this post, this particular video is based on um, popular demand. Based on popular demand, everybody have been asking for me to talk about the Fibonacci retracement tool. So, I said, okay, fine. Let's let's talk about it in today's video. So. So quickly, the Fibonacci retracement tool, it's, um, it's another tool for use in um, technical analysis. So I could go on and tell you all about the history of how it was invented by some Leonardo Fibonacci, but hey, all that, all that, geez, all that history is not, not necessary. So we're going to go straight on to the points, forget about all how they calculate the ratio, how they got those ratios. We don't need the those knowledge. All we need is what it is and how to use it. That's so I'm heading straight to the point. So basically the Fibonacci retracement tool, it's, um, it's used for, remember we talked about retracement, which is otherwise known as the pullback. So you use it to, to know when a pullback will end, when a retracement will end, and when it will continue going in the path of the trend. That is how you, that is basically what the retracement, Fibonacci retracement tool is. It just tells you when a pullback will end, when a retracement will end, and when market will continue to go in the direction of its trend. So, so this guy, this uh, Leonardo Fibonacci, he brought out some, some ratios, some probability of some things happening. So it is this ratio that the Fibonacci retracement uses to determine at what point this will happen. So these ratios, they are, they are actually they are actually five of them. It's a 0 0.236 ratio, 0 0.382 ratio, 0 0.500 ratio, 0 0.618 ratio, and it's a 0 0.764 ratio. So basically, you, know, you see it practically, so don't get worked up about how you memorize these ratios. It's, it's, it's as clear as crystal, so you see it very well. So remember, you use this tool to know when a trend, when a, a pullback, a retracement will end and when it will continue to go in its direction, in its trend. So, and a lot of forex traders use, this is one of the most commonly used um, tool, aside from, um, I think one of the best used, most frequently used is the trend line. The Fibonacci, the Fibonacci retracement is also commonly, commonly used. So, so I mean, forex is a game of numbers. So, the more the more traders use a particular or look at the particular interest point of interest point of entry to buy and sell, that is the more probability that area is going to hold. Remember, if everybody is buying at a point, that that is volume. So, the, so the, that particular currency, that particular index that particular commodity will definitely buy it's a game of numbers so so that's why the um, Fibonacci retracement tool is it's it's a, it's very reliable to an extent but nothing is setting always remember that in your mind nothing is setting that's why a stop loss always saves so basically to to apply the Fibonacci retracement levels in your chart you just need to identify the high and the low that is it if you if you are if you are in, in an uptrend, market is going up and then it starts coming down, it's doing a pullback, it's doing a retracement. You want to know what point that retracement will end and to continue going up. All you need is the recent low and the recent high to plot your Fibonacci and then to show you this, it will show you these ratios, these retracement levels, which of them will it get to before it starts going back up. The same thing, market is trending down and then it starts to do a little pullback. It starts to do a retracement. All you need is the recent high and the recent low to plot it. And then with what you plot it is to show you the different ratios. From there, you can know what point it will get to and it will continue its trend. So, so for look, I'll start with the uptrend. So for an uptrend, for an uptrend, to draw the Fibonacci, level, um, Fibonacci retracement level, you just have to click on the swing low, on the recent low, and then you drag the cursor to the recent high. And that way, once you plot that, it will show you your retracement level, to show you the various ratios. So let me, let's go to a, a live chat and see one of our, our pairs, see what happened. 
we'll do work together. We're going to draw a live Fibonacci. So let's go to our charts. Okay, before we see the the charts, I also have to mention this. Um, another most commonly used um, technical analysis tool is this resistance and the support. So my top three top three technical analysis tool support and resistance trend line trend line is it's also a support and resistance but remember it is the diagonal one if you've not seen my videos on resistance and support you've not seen my videos on trend lines kindly go to my channel you see it. I talked about all of this and then now we're not talking about the fibonacci retracement tool which is another very important tool for using technical lines. So, so let's go on to the chart and see and see how to plot the fibonacci the fibonacci retracement so Great. So this is Australian dollar against the US dollar. So in this case, the AUD USD is an uptrend. It's going up. So we want to we want to trade, want to plot the want to plot the Fibonacci retracement as at when price was here. When price was here before before this happened, before all of this happened. Now let's just assume. With this that happened, this is a low. This is a swing low. This has happened. This is a swing high. And then price started retracing. Probably price was here as at the time we we're doing this Fibonacci. And you want to know what point do I get in for a buy to for this trade to continue going up. So what do you need to do? All you need to do is to identify this low and this high. So in an uptrend, it's going up. So you have to start from down to up. So the, the Fibonacci adjustment tool is just here. Okay. So this is where you find the Fibonacci retracement tool. You can see it here. This is using the Fibonacci, the MT4 on on your on your computer. You can see it here. Draw Fibonacci retracement. But on your phone, you can see it once either you're using an iPhone or you're using an Android uh, on an Android device. Once you just once you click the object icon. Let's click on the object icon. You see it is also drawn like this. You see it there, very visible. Click on your Android device. Click on the object. The object you see the draw Fibonacci retracement. This is what it looks like. So, so using this computer right now, it's the same process. If you're using your phone or your computer, just click on it. Go to the one for an option now from the low to the recent to the recent high. So we're going to draw it right now. The same thing on your phone, the same thing. Just click on the object and use it the same way I'm going to use it right now. So once we click on, click on it, and at least we've been able to identify this low and this high. Remember, this assumed all of this hasn't played out. Market was probably at this point. So I started retracing. So we said, let us draw a Fibonacci retracement level to see at what point we can get in on a buy again to join the trend. So what would we have done? We've spotted this low. So from this tip of the low, you click and then you drag, you drag all the way to the recent high. So this is your Fibonacci retracement level. And you can see all of those ratio we're talking about. This is it. This is the 60, um, 61.8 level, the 50 level, the 38 level, 23.6 level. So one of these levels is at the, the point where the market will retrace and continue its trend. And in this case, what happened? Market got to 61.8 and it's retraced. It's retraced. You can see. So personally, I, I, I trust the 61.8 level more. So what you would have done, it's, it's actually the strongest, it's the 1.8 level, it's actually the strongest. So what would you have done? What's, what I did when I when I did this, I actually cut this trade on the Australian dollar against the US dollar. Once market is retracing, you draw your Fibonacci and then you place a, a buy limit. As when price was here, you place a buy limit on the Fibonacci level, on the 61.8 level, so we can, Let's draw a line and see what price that is. So you could have placed, you could have placed your your buy limit at zero point six three seven four three. So immediately price got to that level, it would have picked up your buy limit, your buy limit order. And what happened? Price went up. So you could have gotten as much as um, this could have been up to. Up to 60, probably up to 100 pips. 
probably up to 100 percent i don't have time to see the calculation right now but but great 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 tool to use so so you you what you'd have done set your buy limit set your stop loss at the previous at the previous um low and set your your take profit at the previous high and you would have made some money so let's let's quickly go so we've, we've seen how to draw the two on the on an uptrend remember click on the two click on the two draw uptrend up to down and you see the different levels at which price will most likely retrace from so so let's let's see for a downtrend let's see for it i believe you understand if you don't please ask questions on the comment section and i should reply you so for a downtrend up direct opposite since it's downtrend is going down so all you need to do is click on the cursor recent high and drag to your recent low and then you have your fibonacci level so let's see an instance let's look at euro against us dollar. i think we had a very good formation here so let us draw this um this is almost actually a very a good a live as good as live trade so euro us dollar has been on a downtrend and when this happened we wanted to catch a catch a sell so at least we've been able to spot this okay let's, let's assume this all of this hadn't happened all of this this hadn't happened so when price was here and was retracing to draw the fibonacci level we we'll spot so we started this high and then we'll draw, drag it to this low so go to your fibonacci level click drag from the high to the low boom so we have our fibonacci level what happened you can see price rallied rallied all the way and it didn't go to 61.8 but i said it's one point it is the most reliable but the closest to it is also the 50 level so but in this case price touched the 50 level so you could have set a sell limit at this 50 level and what happened price went down and it still i think it still has some more down to go but then even at now you could have caught some good pips almost 60 pips or thereabouts you could have caught some pips so that is how to how to draw and use the, the fibonacci retracement level to place spending orders on to know we could have waited at this point once you see that the price is holding at this point you could have gone instant execution you could have sold instantly instead of using a pending order it depends on how you want to use it so so we've been able to explain how to use it for an uptrend and how to use it for a downtrend so without wasting much time i'm going to show you so use it for some more confirmation remember Forex is all about confirmations. It's all about confirmations. You don't just see only one confirmation and you enter a trade. Three confirmations is good. So if you have a candlestick formation, you have a Fibonacci level, and then you also have a support and resistance, good. Boom. You enter as long as you're sure. So now I'm going to talk about how to use the, the Fibonacci retracement tool along with the support and the resistance it's simple you draw it and once you see that a particular level matches up with a support or a resistance you have double confirmation you have double confirmation for a q zone and when price gets to that zone you kill so i'm going to look at this example i actually got this um this shot from from baby peeps it's a very awesome place to learn forex it's a very nice place to learn forex you can check them out www.babypeeps.com check them out probably if you need more explanations on what we've been discussing or you want to read further then some things i have not been able to talk about you can go to baby peeps you there's a lot to learn about there so so i, I got these screenshots from from them so talking about uh, we're still on how to use the fib levels or against support and resistance so are this for this chart this is the us dollar against the CHF on the daily time frame uptrend we spot this high and then we spot this low so we draw the fibonacci level put our cursor drag all the way here and we have our fibonacci retracement level we have this we have this we have the 50 we have the 61 level so what happened and then if, so if the 50 50 matches up with this resistance you can see this is a resistance that has been broken and has now turned to a support so it matches so this is a support so potentially Price might get here and retrace. And then when we drew our Fibonacci level, we saw that it matches up with a 50 level. And what actually happened? Price started retracing. And in our next slide, we'll see what happened. Price retraced. Price actually got to that Fibonacci level, 50. And what happened? Which is also in line with the supports. 
price went all the way boom 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 so great confirmation the same thing you can use it in a, in a in a downtrend you can use it in an uptrend once it lines up with the resistance or a support that is double confirmation that is your kill zone strike strike so quickly another confirmation how to use the fibonacci along with um, a trend line the same thing once you draw your trend line and you and you see prices retracing once price is retracing and then it looks like it's going to touch the trend line and continue the trend you draw your fibonacci levels and once the, a, a particular level matches up with the touch on the trend line boom you strike so let's let's look at an example let's look at an example this is the australian dollar against the japanese yen on the one minute on the 60 minutes that's one hour time frame the trend line was drawn price had been touching it price touched 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 touch touch and then it's going up so we want to catch the trend we want to catch the flow remember the trend is your friend so here we draw from the recent low to the recent high we draw our fib level and right on the trend line the 61 the 61.8 level matches up so what do we do so what do we do we we set a pending order a buy limit can be set on this 61.8 level because when price touches there because it's a support i said the trend line has been acting as a support bounce 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 if you've not seen my video on trend line how to trade them go check them out on the channel so and what happened next what happened next double confirmation double confirmation fibonacci level 61.8 held trend line level trend line support held as well you could have gone in to buy strike this buy and boom what happened price went all the way up you would have been in some good money so thank you guys at this point we've been able to explain what the fibonacci retracement tool is and how you can use it to buy and sell you can use it depending on that you can wait to go instant execution I believe you got value for this video. If you did, please hit the like button. If you've not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe so you get notified when I release some next videos. I believe I'll be able to give you some more values. Please um, chat me up um, or make a comment if you have any question or if you, or if you have plans to join our Telegram group. We've been posting analysis. We've been sharing ideas together and we've been making money. So you can join us on Telegram, chat me up, and I'll send you the link. I just need to, to confirm that you've been following up so you can be at par, so we can talk the same language. So please, guys, um, at this point, stay safe. Always maintain good hygiene. Thank you. See you some other time. Bye.